can i skip mathematics completely and only focus on physics and chemistry and still get 99 percentile this is one question a lot of students get in their mind and the reason is simple that they are not able to score well in mathematics they are not able to solve problems in mathematics they get a lot of negative marking in mathematics that's why they feel that can i just completely skip mathematics part and only focus on physics and chemistry and still get that particular score so i will answer that i will address that thing in this session and with a lot of proof and statistics okay so let us first talk about the january attempt okay so january attempt you can see there were 10 10 question papers were held in january attempt alone and you can see the data over here these are the 10 shift 27 january shift 1 shift 2 29 30 31 and 1st february to get 99 percentile now you can see on your screen that how much total you have to score right so clearly there is some discrepancy over here that in 27 january shift 1 you can see 236 marks uh students scoring 236 marks getting 99 percentile and in 31st January shift 1, a student scoring 170 marks is getting 99 percentile. So these are two exceptions. The question paper were very easy in these two shifts. Okay, easy and this having difficult question paper. But if I just remove the exception and if we talk about the normal thing, so you can see that in normal shift, you have to score 200 marks to get 99 percentile. If we assume that everything goes as per the plan, so 200 uh, plus you have to score to get 99 percentile. Now 200 out of what? So you know that 200 out of 300 you should score to get 99 percentile, right? Now 300 total question paper is of 300, 100 physics, 100 chemistry, 100 mathematics. So if you completely ignore mathematics, you have to have to get 200 marks solely from physics and chemistry, right? That means you have to get full marks in physics as well as chemistry. Is that easy? You tell me. You tell me in the chat box. You tell me in the comment section. Is that very easy to score 100 on 100 and 100 on 100 in physics and chemistry both? Even if you are very pro in physics and chemistry, trust me, this is extremely difficult to score full marks in physics and chemistry both. Rather, it is easier to score certain marks in physics, certain in chemistry and certain in, in mathematics and then as a total you can get 200 plus, okay. So now let us only talk about mathematics that okay, uh, ma'am I am not good at mathematics. So now you just tell me what is the bare minimum criteria to get marks in maths. So let us do the statistics anal analysis of only mathematics, only mathematics, right. So again you can see to score 99 percentile in mathematics. So this is again easy shift 77 marks and the difficult shift 35 marks. But if I remove the exception, so if you ask me that ma'am how much score should I score in mathematics to get same 99 percentile. So my answer would be and you can see on the screen as well that approximately 50 marks you have to score in mathematics to get 99 percentile in mathematics, right? Also, if your physics and chemistry are more powerful or stronger subjects, then you can reduce some marks in mathematics. Okay, 50 marks in mathematics is equal to 99 percentile out of 100 by the way. 50 out of 100, that means total 50 percent. Out of 30 questions, you only have to do 15 questions in mathematics, right? 15 questions in mathematics. So, you don't have to know the complete syllabus of mathematics. Now, you, was, you must be wondering, okay ma'am. Because the time is not very much for us, 2025 aspirant. So you must be wondering, ma'am, 15 questions. So we will only focus on the high-weighted chapters. And we will do uh, mastery in high-weighted chapters. And then we can think about that only I will do 15 questions in Jane main and achieve that target. But is that easy? Let me just tell you that about the topmost chapter, high-weighted chapter. Let us get into that thing high weighted chapter okay so if you do 3d geometry three dimensional geometry you will get two questions short short two questions from this particular chapter then sequence and series again high weighted chapter two questions from this chapter as well definite integration again two questions from this chapter as well right differential equation two questions you can see 
right and then after vector algebra you can get one to two questions sometimes one sometimes two chances there are two questions will be there then again functions one to two questions and uh, straight lines you can get one to two questions right binomial theorem again one to two questions you can get then probability one to two and uh, complex number again one to two questions right so these are the top most chapters of 2024 and there are some more chapters that you can focus upon area under curves again one to two question limits one question aod one to two and matrices one question okay but this data by looking at the and you will find a lot of videos of high weighted chapter ma'am tell me high weighted chapter every time i say i go everywhere uh, in in my dms in my telegram you will ask me ma'am tell me high weighted chapter so this is the list here is the list now you have that list but is that that easy is it is it this easy right this is the question so first of all let me just do let me just tell you one more analysis okay chapter by chapter okay three dimensional geometry two questions ready okay ready get set go but to understand three dimensional geometry nicely and to be able to do all those questions all uh, all the, those two questions from three dimensional geometry you should have an idea about vector algebra and straight lines okay so this chapter has a has two prerequisite chapter that you have to understand okay then sequence and series a very good thing that there is there are no prerequisites so this is an independent chapter then again to be able to solve two questions from def definite integrations you should know basics of function because Definite integration questions have a lot of basics from function. Same differential equation. You tell me differential equation. You should be able to know integration and differentiation both. Okay. Then vector algebra. There are no prerequisites. Function ke liye you have basics. You have to understand basics of mathematics. And straight lines again no prerequisite. Binomial theorem almost no prerequisite. Then probability to you know. Permutation and combination, you must know heavy permutation and combination and other chapters as well. Sometimes they include quadratic as well. Sometimes they include sequence and series as well. Okay. And for complex number, you have geometry. You should be able to pull off geometry very well. Okay. All right. And again, I don't need to tell you area under curves, heavy integration is required over here. Then application of derivatives may you should know differentiation of function. Then matrices is, is again one chapter which has no prerequisite. So what you can do is you can prioritize that those chapters which are having no prerequisite. That is one thing. Okay. And then you cannot skip the prerequisite chapters which is quadratic equations, sequence and series, uh, permutation and combination. These chapters you cannot ignore and directly jump on to the high weighted chapter. Disclaimer. Okay. All right. Now the question arises, but ma'am, how to do, from where to do, and uh, like uh, how many questions, what are the books, best books, just tell us, okay? So let me tell you, let me uh, make these things very easy for you. You just have to select a good basic source of theory. You can just go for video lectures as well, right? For theory and basic questions to build your basics. Once the basics are built, theory plus basic problems, or for that particular chapter, the complete chapter. Once that is done, na, then you can come on to PYQs. Trust me, PYQs, I always say that solve PYQs, solve PYQs. But you guys do some PYQs and then you just go round and round, come back and ask me that ma'am, now what to do, which is the best book. You don't need any book and you don't have time to solve any book. Understand that past three years, you have in 2024, 600 questions were asked from one subject, by the way. 2022, 2023, there are 1380 questions were asked. So total, if you do approximately 2000 questions are there per subjects, right? But what you guys are lacking is how to solve PYQs. How to solve PYQs, you guys are not solving PYQs correctly. What you are doing is you're just solving, solving, solving and you're just not getting any output. That's why your mock test results are very bad in mathematics. Now listen to me carefully. How to solve PYQs uh, correctly? 
select a good source of chapter wise PYQs. You have to select a good source of chapter wise PYQs number one. Now you have to solve each and every PYQ. Suppose you are taking 2024 chapter wise PYQs first. Okay. Suppose you are doing April attempt 2024 chapter wise PYQs. Right. So sequence and series if you have picked. Now you have solved like 20 questions. Right. 20 questions were there uh, from sequence and series approximately 20 19 or 20 right now 20 questions you have solved now you just quickly jump on to the next chapter or next attempt do not do that just you what you have to do is you have to bundle every question let me tell you let me just show you how exactly you have to do suppose you have solved that those 17 18 questions which were asked in sequence and series april attempt now you have to bundle okay this question has a pattern of ap and gp okay so ap is also there and gp ap gp combined question again this question is also from ap and gp combined question you have to categorize you have to identify the pattern right and what will happen once you identify that pattern now in j main or in any mock if that question comes you'll be like oh this question is like that because when you see us and when you ask us, ma'am, how are you so good at mathematics? How are you able to like not think at all and just solve it? Because we have that patterns in our, in our minds that, okay, this whole chapter is divided into this pattern based thing. And uh, this question is mapped to that pattern. So this que question is mapped to APGP pattern. Now, this question, the moment we see that question, I will be like, okay. We have to find the general term of numerator and general term of denominator and then use the formula sigma 1, sigma n, sigma n square and all. So, pattern is series based question. The moment I see the next question, telescopic series, I know that I have to write the denominator as a numerator as a difference of, uh, difference of 1 plus d and 1. So, I have to create difference in the numerator basically. Okay. So, this is telescopic series. You have to understand the pattern. Now, I look at it. I will be like telescopic series. Then I will be solving it. I am not able. I will not think about it. Like 5 minutes I am thinking what to do. Nothing will work. Okay. Then AMGM inequality. So, the moment I see least value. AMGM inequality. Right. The moment I see GP based. I see this. That okay. A pattern is getting created. Right. 1 plus x. 1 plus x square. 1 plus x cube. So, GP based problems. Right. Then the moment I see this writing general term, these two questions were asked in JEM in 2024, similar question writing general term. So you have to do that in-depth analysis of that chapter. Then only you will be able to say, okay, ma'am, 3D geometry, two questions. I am done with that because I have done that categorization thing. Okay. So 2024 PYQ. So we are already doing it almost. We are done with April attempt, January attempt. Also, we will be done with a lot of PYQs 2024, 2022, 2023, you can just refer to Tattva books for J main um, PYQs. And also, if you are having any doubts, what you can do is you can reach out to me uh, on my telegram channel t.me slash Namrata Jaisinghani. And also there is a very good news for you all that we are launching something for you for J main first attempt super soon. And if you are interested, just like write Jan attempt in chat box. Okay, if you are interested in crash course, then just write Jan attempt in the chat box. Jan attempt in the chat box so that we'll understand. Okay, you guys are wanting a crash course from us in pure English. Okay, so this is me, Namrata, signing off. I'll see you in next video.